All right, this is question seven on quiz 14. This is a pretty simple one. Um, my conclusion is not F. Uh, the key thing to see here is that many people wanted to do a modus tollens um, on this conditional statement, but you can't do that. And the reason you can't do that is because the main operator of this whole line is not a conditional statement, it's actually a disjunction, right? So the only thing you can do on line one is actually a disjunctive syllogism. So see this not H, that'll allow us to do a disjunctive syllogism on line one to derive that conditional. So the conditional, if F then G, I'm gonna copy and paste it here, um, follows by hypothetical syllogism on lines one and three. Now, I can do the modus tollens on the line I just derived, the conditional if f then g, um, and not g. And that'll give me not f. And that is modus tollens on lines 2 and 4. So there's 7. And here's 8, the last one. A number of people <coughs> didn't get this one, um, although some people did. So let's start with, um, so we're trying to drive L. Um, it's always great to look to either simple uh, propositions or, or negations of simple propositions, like what's on line one here, not A. So I'm going to plug that. Where can I plug this not A in? Well, I can't do it. I can't plug it in here because A is too embedded. I can plug it in here on line three using a disjunctive syllogism to get D. So I'm going to do that. Um, so D follows by a disjunctive syllogism on lines 1 and 3. <clears throat> now, I notice that I have a D here, and it's as the antecedent of this conditional. Um, and I know that I can get D or U if I just add a U to D. So I'm going to do that. Oops. Why is it double spacing? I don't know. Um, all right, so I get uh, D or u, and that is the rule addition on line 5. Now I have d or u, which is, as we saw, the antecedent of line 4. So that will allow me to derive c by, whoops, number each line, deriving c by modus ponens on lines 4 and line 6. C also occurs, it's here, I'm going to use the same trick that I just did, right? Um, if I had the antecedent of this conditional, it would be C or A. I don't have C or A, but I do have C, and so I know I can get C or A. Oh, my computer is freezing up. Um, I can get C or A <clears throat> by that same trick I just used, by addition on line 7. Now I have the antecedent and now I can derive uh, L by uh, modus ponens on lines 2 and 8. <clears throat> 